Yo, 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 welcome everybody to TCR Trinity Competitive Racing for the Silver Class. And we are in round number one of season 13. My name is Seafreeze and I am alongside Captain Blade, both Platinum Drivers. How are you doing, Captain? And how excited are you to start this season off? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to... Uh Season 13 of CCR, and like you said, I am very excited to see this new season. Last season we had a bit, uh, quite a bit of an excited season with Sir Charles and Blim Machine working together. Wow, um, while battling for the championship, and they managed to be teammates and rivals at the same time. And the clo the pack was very close. Couple of different podiums, uh, different winners. Ken Luke, I believe he was the two-time. Uh, winner Kroner was up there in the podium, so we also got a new couple guys. So excited to see, uh, excited to see the how the new guys cope with uh, the season. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. This is the first race to kick off the season. We're live on both the Twitch and YouTube for all of the races this year. So make sure, uh, you know, we encourage you to watch on whatever platform you desire although I know on the YouTube side of things the videos stay on there uh, for the forever I think uh, twitch I think it's two weeks and it and it goes off but um uh, so yeah we encourage you to watch on either platform we have 16 drivers here today a few uh, a driver or two couldn't get in um, with uh, some incident uh, connections um, but yeah back to the new drivers we have a big lineup uh, this year. A lot of new drivers, including, uh, well, we, we, we have the uh, returning drivers of Sir Charles and Blinn, the championship last year uh, in the McLarens. Sir Charles was able to grab the driver's championship over Blinn Machine. And we have Camden Luca with a 29.0 on provisional. A little bit of intermediate conditions here. Uh, but we do have a lot of debut uh, seasons, including Omega, uh Juana Lay, who's not here. Those two are not here today. Uh, Got Palmer is here today. We have a yellow flag, a driver. I think that's X Ryan. He is also new in his first season. And he's going to start it in the barrier. That's all right, though. He'll get another shot in the race. Um, Thibault is debut season. Big Rye, another debut season. Um, Vince is debut, Hot Boys debut, Chibar, Ryan X F1. Uh, Mina, it's his first full season in TCR, although we saw him a uh, few glimpses of him last season. Uh, Al is also debut, and NMBR, who's not here today, but also another debut season. So a bunch of new talent into the Silver Class, so I'm excited to see how that fares. Although we have a lot of new returning drivers as well. Two-time winner, Rafa Hulk, uh, from last season. We also have uh, Broom Handle, uh, two podiums last season. Crooner, three podiums last season. Mako, two-time uh, race winner. Uh, Camden, two-time race winner. Sira, a feature race winner uh, last year. And then obviously the team of McLaren. So it's a mixture of both experience and uh, inexperience. Yeah, we've got a, it's a mixture in the the grid, you know, that provides uh, good racing. You know, as some some of the drivers, you know, they don't. Some might be other fast. Some other might be a little slower, and you know, cause other things. You know. Definitely creates an exciting league, and like you said, Ryan uh, at F1 is already out of the out of qualifying pretty early, but it was in that uh, second chicane and with the new uh, curb update in Monza here. It's pretty pretty hard, pretty easy to to put it in the wall there, you know. I think uh, yesterday the practice race that we were doing, I, I spun in myself a couple of times. <laughs> Yes, it's very easy to, to hit those curbs, and you can really go airborne. <laughs> I think I've done it uh, once or twice in uh, practice uh, leading up to uh, this week. Uh, if you are new to TCR and you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing by the end of this race. Hopefully this race persuades you to subscribe or follow on the Twitch. Uh, we have the website down below for more information. That's Thibault, 
goes provisional. Four tenths over Camden Luca. It was a good lap there by the Ferrari. Uh, we also have the Golden Class tomorrow and Platinum Class on Thursday. Those are the other two classes, both racing line only. It's the only assist you could use. Gruner getting it a little bit wrong, but he holds on to it. Good job in the Alpha, the Alpha Tari. We also, uh, yeah, we have a lot of information on the website and Discord down below in the YouTube and website. So consider joining and uh, signing up for Season 13. We still have, a, uh, I think, Silver's full, but we could always use reserves uh, and also uh, maybe a, a few seats in Golden and maybe Platinum. Uh, but we could always get you on the grid if you're interested. It's been a little while since we've raced as well, so welcome everyone who uh, is returning, uh, the drivers, the viewers. Uh, we've been uh, busy in the off season to, to, to get some updates going uh, in TCR, and uh, we're back at it. We, you know, when we do the off seasons, we like to have an off season. You know, we're not just a week or two. <laughs> so I, I hope everyone's refreshed. We're starting to get the real F1 car liveries launched. Haas went a few days ago. I think tomorrow's Red Bull uh, during the Golden Class. And uh, Aston Martin releases on Thursday. And there's another team on Friday. I forget who. Uh, but it's it's that F1 time. It's that F1 season. So all the drivers, everyone's uh, got that energy back in them. Yeah, it's very exciting. We'll we'll see how how the season goes in real life and here in CCR too. But uh, coming back into qualifying, it's about in the Ferrari because it's 28 sits. Only driver so far to get into the 28s. So, seems like the track is uh, drying up a bit, or at least that's what other drivers will be hoping for. Yeah, and Bam Bam in the comments uh, is saying, thanks to the Silver Class for pulling the TCR short straw for the wet weather. <laughs> yeah, uh, Silver, they could have the wet. Uh, they could have the wet weather. Uh, I'm sure Gold and Platinum are a little bit excited. Maybe this uh, changes the odds for them later this week. Uh, but Charles is on the lap. Remember, he's the, um, he's the guy to beat this year. Uh, he's got that pressure built up on his shoulders coming in as the champion he's got something possibly to prove even though he did it last season he might want to come back and do it again a little back to back yeah he is the he is the defending champion so ooh and that is big rank right? was out of the ball of, out of the exit of chicane to, out of the chicane yeah. there it is yeah, he could have clipped those curbs like you were mentioning. Uh, maybe maybe it was the traction. It looked a little far on the exit, though. Yeah, the thing is, you don't know here. You can either get launched and go into the gravel and spin, or get launched and go into the wall, or get launched again and go to the right. <laughs> so you kind of uh, can spin it everywhere there. is on the lap it's the fifth purple set there too let's see what we can do here five minutes into qualifying a lot of drivers are out on the lap Mina around the last corner let's see if he can improve from P16 I do believe and he's coming yeah, in the pits. Anticlimactic. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's see who else is. Ravel returning in this season. Oh, Al Ooh, went for a little Al spin. Yeah. Caught that and look at it again. Out of the chicane. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be trouble. Ooh, Blinn, important information, race update. Blinn Machine mentions the race is dry. So what does that do with the setup? Uh, you, you're probably running your dry setup. Uh, you're not really messing too much around. Um, maybe things that you could change after qualifying. Maybe a little bit of the front wing. Uh, but other than that, you don't want to change anything uh, for the race. It would be dry. So that is uh, good information, Blinn. Thank you very much. That could be the reason why some uh, drivers are struggling out of 
some corners, but like you said, you can change a couple of stuff, you know, just to make it a little more drivable. You know, you can change the differentials and your wing and your pressures, you know, but that helps in two, two seconds to put them into P10. Alright, let's see who else. Uh, Palmer in the Aston Martin first season for him. He is on a fly right now. Three minutes left in the qualifying session, and now Italy. You would you would think it's an easy place to pass, true, but it's also hard to get away from drivers because of the slipstream and the DRS. So track position is actually quite crucial here at Monza. It's also a very quick Grand Prix. Uh, so you don't have much time. It, it really is a quick one. Uh, we'll get this opener right out of the way, which is... <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe we wanted to keep going. <laughs> We've got a lot of Chibar fans. Oh, that's great. Chibar, he's... Uh, We'll get on him in just a minute. We'll give the fans what they want. Around the final corner. Got Palmer is going to qualify. It looks like a slow one. Oh, no. He's really revving it out in fourth. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but Shibar in the Alpine around the final corner. He's going to start another lap here, I assume. And that's the good thing about the wet, you could kind of just keep doing laps and laps and laps. Uh, because it's more about just getting a lap in. Because it's tricky conditions as Chibar had to cut the chicane. If you could get back around, he'll have another opportunity uh, from P13. Yeah, the wet's here, you kind of want to load up a couple laps of fuel, you know, and get out there. Tire wear isn't isn't that big of a problem here in the intercept. The intercept lasts quite a long time, and you don't have to worry about your ERS. You know, you kind of charge up more than you use, anyways, in the lap. So but yeah, uh, the boat still has the provisional pole position here with the 28 sits. No one has been able to even get into the 28. You know. Yeah, and that's gonna do it for Thibault. So. He's going to surrender the 28.630. Let's see if anyone else can beat it. Camden's not going to. He's still in the pits. Blinn is on a lap now. Uh, Eight tenths slower. Unless he is on... He could get back around, possibly do another lap. See Rod's on the pits. He won't have an opportunity. Crooner, he's about even on his time, but he's going to have to have a nice third sector as he actually does purple middle best. Yeah, I believe Kroner also has a uh, has uh, enough time to get across the line in time and maybe go for last slap qualifying. You know, because here in the wet, you wanna you kind of wanna be the last person to cross the line. You know? Get the the best out of the the track conditions. Yep, so that's qualifying over. Let's see who else uh, will be able to cross the line. Crooner uh, was slower on that lap, but he'll have another go at it. Charles slower out of the final corner. Oh, that is Crooner who spins. Oh. oh. That is his qualifying over. Let's see, is that a Mercedes we see? Is that a Hop Hop Boy? Looks like he's still slower, six tenths. We'll stick with him. Doesn't look like he's no, it doesn't up. look like it. Taz says Blin's on one. Yeah, let's go with Blin Machine. You know, uh, also, decides not to go for lap. We got Palmer here who actually invalidates. Uh, the machine is the next one to go to the cross. To Taz down and set there too, though, so. Unless he can make up some. Some amazing time in this set there here. I don't think he will be improving much. 
Let's see if anything left in the McLaren crew. For the first qualifying of season 13, doesn't mean much at Monza. We still got a whole race to do. Uh, but you want to set the bar good to start. Blue Machine to the line will be slower. So it's going to be Thibault for the pole position. Assuming the uh, qualifying laps are all valid. And that'll set the grid. We did see Omega join as well, so we should have 17 to start this thing. Initial thoughts, uh, Captain. Uh, what, are you, what are you seeing from these guys? It was a newcomer to get it, um, but he's surrounded uh, you know, from two through six are all returning drivers, and uh, you know they have a little bit more experience, at least in TCR. Obviously, we don't know the track records of everybody, um, but initial thoughts. Uh, yeah, new newcomer, you know, comes in, sets pole position, and to be honest, quite early, if I'm honest. Uh, I think he said it with nine minutes still left in qualifying, I think. So, and in the wets, you know, by every second, the the, con the conditions keep on uh, improving. But by this case, it looked like it wasn't really much improving as there is quite a lot of putters. But, yeah, like you said, Tybo, newcomer, uh, pole position, Cam Luca, P2, very, pretty sure he's going to be very happy with that after having... Quite a bit of bad luck uh, last season, you know. Uh, Blend Machine, P3, ahead of his uh, teammate, aka his, also his rival. And yeah, a couple of returners, Sir Charles. Also, Sir Charles hasn't, I must say, you can't count Sir Charles out because, seeing from last season, he he didn't make up his championship in qualifying. He made, up, he made it up in the race, you know. He just wasn't the fastest in qualifying at times, but he... Make sure to make it back up in the race. Hopefully the lobby is doing its thing and, and getting us ready. I was a little scared there, not gonna lie. Uh, anywho, uh, yeah, thigh bolt. Four tenths, almost half a second over Cameron. It is the wet conditions though, so I think this will be a very uh, close race in that. And now we go to the dry period in this race. Uh, everyone will have free tire choice, uh, so they'll be able to pick uh, pretty much any tire and any strategy they want, whatever they prefer, uh, which will open the door for everybody. Although you have to be wary about those safety cars. You think we'll maybe get one or two, possibly, Captain? Yeah. My prediction is one safe. No. Maybe two safety cars, okay? But I mean, it's Monza, you know, a very tight corner into turn one, uh, and now with the addition of the of the curves being kind of a uh, rocket launchers now, um, <laughs> 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 I think we'll see a couple of people spin in uh, the second chicane and cause some chaos. But yeah, like you said, is the wet? Uh, we had a wet qualifying, so drivers do get a do get a free tire choice. But if I must say. From what I've done, I don't think uh, being on the on the mediums at the start is the best. I know some people might say not, but I don't know. It's it, I mean it's kind of a bit of slower because the mediums can last pretty long here, and the softs they kind of uh, lose pace, um, kind of lose a lot of pace towards the end of the stint. So, but. We'll see. I mean, it depends how it turns out. I mean, if you're in the mediums and safety car comes in early, yeah, I mean that's gonna limit your strategy. Is. Yeah, if if you or if you start in the mediums or safety car comes out in the first ten laps, uh, the softs aren't gonna really do too much to the end. So maybe you know you put the hards on, but they're really you don't want to be using the hard tire, especially around here. Um, the tire is actually quite nice, the soft or the medium. Uh, so I expect all drivers to use those two compounds and avoid the hard tire at all costs um, but we're gonna start our formation lap here just want to thank everyone for tuning in to start season 13 we got uh, 17 drivers Omega was able to join and uh, we have a lot of racing ahead a lot of cool events as well later on in the year 
Uh, we got some all-star race, the TCR Grand Prix, 100% race, uh, full qualifying event. We got the three new tracks that we haven't raced on yet of Jetta, Porta Mal, and uh, Imola. Imola's next week. We keep it in uh, uh, Italy uh, for two weeks here. And uh, as mentioned before, we have all of our details in the description if you are looking to join. And uh, <laughs> I haven't done commentary in a few, you know, it's been a little while since we last raced, so uh, apologies for a little bit of ring rust. Uh, <laughs> we'll get it sorted by the finale night, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll get it sorted. I promise we'll get it sorted. Um, but we yeah. Need, we need Blin in here in the commentary to give you some tips, but. Oh, so Blin's awesome. I think he'll be doing tomorrow, <laughs> and he'll be doing Platinum Class, as always. So he's awesome. He also has a great shot at this race. Quickly, prediction time. Top three, go. Um, I'm going to go with a bit of an upset here, but I'm going to say uh, the... Oh, uh, man. Uh, I'm going to say... This isn't quickly, Captain. Ferrari I need him. One two. <laughs> Ferrari 1-2 here, and... Uh, in their home race, you know, and then Camden look at P3. Oh, nice! I think Camden is gonna uh, take it here today with his momentum from last season. We'll put Sir Charles in two, and we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put Broom Handle in third. That's uh, my predictions. I never get them right, so uh, <laughs> sorry for those who I chose. We're going to ride on board with C. Rise in the Williams this season. Thank you all for watching again. We are season 13, which I cannot believe. Silver class, round number one for the Italian Grand Prix. The season opener of 14 rounds. And it all starts here. Oh, but look at that. Tabal is uh, full Italian mode. <laughs> it's got the uh, Monza, I mean Italian uh, helmet in the Ferrari. So. Oh yeah, look at that! That's a nice one. He's got that. Uh, he's got that Monza spirit in him, which is why I think we'll be Ferrari one too. <laughs> Anyways, here we're kind of waiting. I think Omega might have. Yep. So Omega has the same glitch that I had in the USA. So Omega, if you're here. You Maybe leave the race and join back and it'll fix the problem. Yep, there we go. He was yes. listening. Good job, Captain. All right. <laughs> uh, so we should be able to load up here should very <laughs> shortly. Hopefully this lobby functions probably. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Yep, there we go. This Loading on up. Sad. Riding on Good board, see you off. Freeze with a call. First race of Silver Class. Five red lights, and away we go. Sira doesn't go, but Blin does. He gets a decent start alongside oh. Camden Luca. Thibault is going to take it into the lead, into the first corner. Blin thinking about it, but thinks better of it. He's also on the soft tires. Palmer goes down the inside. A little bit of contact. And I think we have a safety car already, probably due to the glitch in the uh, Sira. I think he was disqualified or something right off the bat. Well, if I, um, Sierra kind of, uh, stalled on the, on, the, on the grid. I don't know if it was a glitch or, or what, but he, he didn't move and I had constant for Mercedes and kind of caused a bit of a trouble. Hmm. But there we go. My prediction is already going so far well. <laughs> Yeah, we oh, got man. one of them out of the way. We got one safety car, so we need a tally. <laughs> I keep tally right over here. We got one. Uh, now, does this change anything on the strategy? I didn't even get a chance to look at the tires. Like I said, ring rust. I will get there by the end of the season. G promise. I promise. I promise. Uh, Big Rye on the mediums. Broom and Rafa also on the mediums. Mina and Al also on the mediums. Uh, so they're not going to really pit here. Uh, mediums can't end to the go to the end of the race. I don't expect anyone to come in uh, unless they need to fix some uh, some damage on their car. Yeah, I mean, uh, coming in uh, first lap is uh, not, not such a good idea, you know. Still got a couple of, quite a lot of laps on these on these offs. I believe the um, best uh, pit stop window uh, for the softs is lap 11. So quite a bit of laps into these um, soft tires. But 
know we have some people pitting here who are those that were caught out there by the start yeah Taz says uh, first safety curve season 13 came after one corner <laughs> it is true uh, I, I, I think that uh, I think that disconnection <laughs> or mishap had a lot to do with it uh, there, there was some contact here and there typical Monza style you know you, you bring 17 drivers into a small little uh, chicane that you could you know even on the correct racing line you really only fit one car through there it's very tight these cars you know what the problem is turn one and two these cars don't turn excellent uh, in the in the slow speed corners um, they're more the high speed they can turn so it's very hard to, to put two cars through uh, the you know the first two corners and even down uh, to the uh, four or five chicane Yeah, but Tess did say that safety car was uh, the first corner, but I'd like to be a professional myself. I say it wasn't even the first corner, <laughs> but it might have been a glitch. But I mean, the person who did it kind of started the glitch was Omega, and it didn't seem like he had any troubles at the start. Might have just been a wheel or controller uh, disconnections or something. And you know what? I'm going to say this safety car actually probably favors a lot of the drivers. I don't know. Uh, can you imagine some of the nerves and excitement or anxiousness some of the drivers might have? You know, the start of the first season. Maybe they haven't raced in a little bit. Five red lights go out. You do one, two corners right here on Blin. One, two, safety car. <sighs> Breathe. Exhale. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, get your breath back. Uh, do a little breathing. You're, you, you know, a little bit of meditation, if you will. And uh, calm yourself together, regroup, and then you go back again in uh, two, three laps time. So that might be uh, what everyone needed, uh, you know, just to, to calm themselves down. Now we're, we'll really start the season. <laughs> talking about um, uh, helping drivers out I mean couldn't help the uh, doesn't this doesn't help the medium tires guys a lot you know because you kind of want to um, for these soft tires to die off as early as possible while your tires are still you know at their not their best but you know they're still still pretty good safety car comes in this lap but this allows these uh, medium, I mean, soft tires guys to go a lap or two longer. Which, if you're on the medium tires, is definitely not gonna help because you're you're gonna be on fresher mediums when you're on softs while your softs die first. Anyways, back to the race. Time out here, getting ready to restart the uh, restart the the race here. She's weaving to try and get the some of those finals temperature into his wheel. Yeah, he decides when he wants to go. Uh, I think he's gonna go now. And we're back racing on lap number four. Thibault gets a decent start. Single file all the way through. Charles getting some slipstream and help from Camden Luca ahead. Will he pass the Ferrari around the outside? Big right goes it pretty deep in there and uh, Charles is gonna have to yield the position Rafa Hulk follows followed by Broom and Shibar in ninth position all controlled so far DRS in a few laps time will be enabled and that's when uh, the DRS and the slipstream train can begin and that's exactly what Thibault's doing right now he's got a second advantage just about over Blin Machine Blin's gonna use some battery try to keep in there cuz the thing with here you don't you don't want him to get away uh, because if Thibault gets away here that could be the race uh, because Blin will be forced to stick with the group behind them of Kroon or Camden and and, and, and company uh, so Thibault crucial part here we got a spinner who's this here Ryan or 
No. Palmer. Palmer. He's in the gravel. Al on Ryan, Vince on both of them, and oh, they think they collided. Yeah, and there it is. Going Another three wide. Yeah. yeah. Going three wide. I don't know. Uh, I didn't really get to see all of it, but Al is out. Al was kind of uh, missing a wheel there on the left side of the track. There we go, Ryan and uh, the Mercedes both pits, and the Mercedes goes into the hard tires. There we go. My prediction is right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the two You're safety cars. One yeah. and so far this season. Had a great start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it it does seem that um, the safety cars do come out quite often. Um, although, you know, that would inhibit a safety car with that crash, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's all fine. But, uh, yeah, it, it does Blame disrupt... Blame it on the Codemasters that the safety car comes out too early. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I, I think it came out, uh, perfectly fine in, in those two situations. Maybe the first one was weird, I didn't really get to see what happened. <laughs> uh, but it does disrupt the rhythm of the drivers because, you know... You do one lap, you, you do three under safety car, you know, another two, maybe one and a half, another lap or two. Um, so it does disrupt the rhythm of the driver. Blinn decides to pit. There it is. And yeah, he I was is... just going to say this, there might be some pit stop happening here. And there it is, there is some pit stop happening. I mean, when the, the, when the race restarts, it's kind of a... Uh, we'll be close to the... Uh, Pit stop window for the softs, but you know, I think I think uh, Blin is hoping for another safety car while he's in the mediums, and he can just go back onto the softs for the for the end of the race. But yeah, if they're going to mix up the they, the grid a little bit here, so strategy is already coming into play. Yeah, I do believe he could uh, get to the end of the race, although he does put himself back into traffic. Although he does get a free pit stop, so it's um, one or the other. Would you rather be stuck in traffic with a free pit stop, or be head of the pack, but maybe have to pit on the green? In here in Monza, you know, if you're, if you're in the, the pack, you know, with the DRS, there's a DRS track. But it, it could actually help you out because you guys are, you know, you're all packed, all bunched up together, but you also have those massive uh, uh, two DRS here. And kind of gains you quite a lot of time here. So even though Taibo will be in the front, you know, him without DRS can be slower than uh, five, six guys all together with DRS. It, it isn't exactly that bad, but then again, if some battling starts, if some battling starts to happen within the pack, and, and you just can't get past, and then then there's where the trouble starts to happen. The, ooh, we have a big right guy there who's trying to already pull some tricks up the sleeve here. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so far so good with the uh, the Ferrari prediction one three. Uh, at the moment, uh, Big Rye is right, carrying that penalty uh, that he got earlier on uh, with some contact, uh, which he will have to serve in the pit lane when he does make his pit stop uh, later on. He'll have to serve that five seconds, which will put him back a little bit, but uh, nonetheless doing quite well in a lot of the driver's debuts, but his particularly. You know, if he does get past uh, Camden Luca here, he is on the medium, so he could stick behind his teammate, you know. His teammate could give him a bit of DRS, and then after his teammate's uh, tires dies off, he can just let his uh, let his teammate into the lead. Once again, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in and uh, bearing with the two safety cars. Hopefully we get some green flag races to go. Uh, we don't script the races, we just commentate them. Uh, so we uh, we just see how it happens and, and we just talk on what happens. <laughs>
Uh, so just, we'll I'm hopefully get a few mind. green flag laps here. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I really do appreciate everyone tuning in and uh, yeah. Follow and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, make sure you tune in to tomorrow's race for the Golden Class and Platinum later on this week. As the safety car is about to come into the pits. So it's going to be uh, thigh bolt. Last race. He, I mean, last restart. He, he kind of went uh, and restarted during the middle of Parabolica. Let's see if he goes late or early here. He's living a little late. Yeah, well, he had one opportunity before, and he's going to go now. A second restart, and a big gap from Camden to Charles. Charles under pressure by Rafa Hulk. A collision in the back already. It might have been a spinner from Big Rye, who was just in third. Now, all the way down to 15th. The Haas breaks deep with Charles and Rafa Hulk. A little bit of contact, but uh, should be all fair and well. Broomhandle picks up the position she barred. Now up to fifth position. Broomhandle with the run, but he hit, clips the grass. A little bit too much steering angle there. A little uh, unprecedented from uh, Broomhandle. He's into sixth spot. So he had a position to gain one, and he actually lost two. As the drivers start to get into a little bit more of a rhythm here, if we can find one. Rafa Hulk on Chibar down the inside. No DRS at the moment, but you look at the pack. It's starting to uh, separate a little bit, which is going to help to gain from the other drivers. You don't want to get stuck in that DRS train. Rafa up to fourth. Good battle here to start this thing off. Chibar holding in behind. And you got a little bit of a four-car train uh, from fourth on back. Yeah, disappointment for me as a uh, big ride does uh, retire from the race after having a bit of a spin. So I could still, I could still get a do um two positions. You know? but, Blin machine under pressure from Ryan X F1. Uh, Blin just pitted under the safety car, giving up some track position, and he is gonna lose another one here to Ryan in the Alpine that puts him back to 10th position. Uh, we'll see how his strategy fares later on in this race. Blind doesn't have to pit again unless he can't get those tires to the end of the race. We have Chabar! Oh, and uh, that's oh, a big one there. Yeah. Is... Chabar, I think, spun it maybe on the curbs and he collected uh, Omega. Oh, no. And that is not good for Blind's uh, strategy. The thing uh, that we run that a lot of other leagues don't is uh, we run ghosting off. Uh, we don't have the cars ghosting, and that's why you're going to see a few incidents just like that. Uh, it's more realistic, and uh, it puts puts the drivers more at uh, more on the edge, right? You got to really uh, think of the moves that you're doing because it will affect pretty much all the drivers on the grid. Yeah, I mean, you really got to think about it without ghosting. I mean, I'm not really a fan of uh, ghosting here, you know. I mean, it's, I don't know why some league races have it. I mean, I guess they do have it for just in case of a pileup, but I mean, it's part of racing, you know. You know, if there's a back marker, I know I'm saying this right now, but I can bet you if it happens to me in a race, I'll be... I'll be cursing. <laughs> oh, boy, be cursing. 100%. Yes. I'd be, I'd yeah. be pissed if that if just I happened get to me. Held up by a back marker. Absolutely. But at the end of the, yeah, at the end of the, at the end of the day, it's part of the racing, you know. Now, crucially, I got to cut off because Thibault just pitted, and uh, that was a little bit smarter to pit then because now pitted from the lead, now in fourth position. Unlike Blin, he pitted from second, and he's down around nine or ten, and he's pitting again for damage. That's what happens when you pit and you get back into the middle of the pack. You're more prone to some incidents that maybe not not even Blin's fault. He was just at the wrong place at the wrong time, and him pitting might have been the, the wrong decision that ultimately put him in uh, you know, that position to actually get the damage there. So, Thibault, uh, a favorite 
at the moment for pitting mediums a little bit later on in this race as well easily can get to the end of the race and he's got a little bit better track position but back to the point of uh, the ghosting off uh, yeah I, I'm not a fan of the ghosting on because a lot of people just drive through and uh, so, I don't know it's not racing in my opinion <laughs> uh, those things actually do happen and you might see more incidents like this because on the F1 game you're able to really run close to another driver there's not much dirty air uh, the battery the slipstream the DRS it really glues you to the other car and uh, it's not like real F1 where you know at least last season in seasons past the dirty is really bad they're not as close to each other so when you do see a spin in real F1 uh, no one's right behind directly behind another driver uh, you know that's something to kind of work for uh, you know all the drivers have to think about that going into this season is the ghosting you know do I really want to be too tense a uh, really one car length behind another driver to start the braking zone uh, when we're on lap seven uh, you know as long as you're within the DRS you, you know you might want to take it easy at some stages of the race those are things to learn and you know I don't expect everyone to know those things um, but we'll all, we'll all learn those things eventually I must say quartermasters kind of do disappoint you uh, a lot of stuff in this game but right now this I have, I'm having an amazing helicopter shot here of uh, Tybalt's Ferrari. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me see. I don't get the same privilege. <laughs> I think Codemasters think uh, I'm the better uh, commentators. So <laughs> they give me the better, better view. <laughs> I'm sure that's the case. I'm sure that's the case. <laughs> this is hey, so anyway, we, so um... we lap 11, like you said. Um, does playing in favor to Tybalt and for those on that started on the mediums this does not play in their hand at all uh. yeah unless we get another safety car later on I mean the the, the field is thickening uh, thinning down not thinking it, it's thinning down and uh, maybe incidents are less likely to happen um, so they'll probably have to pit under green at some point, wrap a Hulk and broom handle. But I do like the decision to stay out and, and see what happens for another five or so laps. Uh, we haven't, you know, really raced green for f more than five laps. So we'll see if we get that opportunity. Rafa Hulk is going to have that opportunity to set the field a go. And he's going to decide now is the chance. He gets a great launch off of broom handle and uh, thigh bolt. Very close to Broomhandel here. Thinking of a move, but I think he's going to dip back behind. No chance to to risk it there. Rafa really misses turn one. That's going to hurt his turn two exit. Camden right around the outside of Mina. He was standing still. And now we got the McLarens. These are the champions right here. Six, seven. Don't count them out. Charles is going to look to the outside of Mina. He's going to back off into the 4-5 chicane and uh, at, at some point in this race we will get DRS uh, we have not gotten DRS before <laughs> uh, in this race I, I do know once before in TCR we haven't enabled DRS until like lap 17 or 18-19 I think it was one Brazil race um, a few seasons ago we just had VSC after safety car and we never had three laps running we might break that record here in TCR. I, I hope we don't. I hope it stays green here to the end. Uh, but I <laughs> might have just jinxed it. <laughs> well, we know you're a jinxer of yourself. So, yes. hopefully not. Maybe that curse we left it back in uh, Season 12. <laughs> I mean, it's the first race. I mean, everyone, everyone's really trying. Everyone wants to win the first race, start the season great. Charles Sorry, looking on a move on off, Camden. But... Or no, Amina, he's going to get the slipstream, though. Yeah, and he, here's Sir Charles who's going to make a move down the inside of into turn one on the on the Red Bull, but gets the better exit out of it. Ryan was right behind Blinn. Couldn't do exactly what his, uh, what the other McLaren was able to do to the, um, 
Red Bull here, but here's Glenn Machine. He's getting quite a lot of speed. He's looking for a move down the inside. Sets back out of it. Bit of a contact here with Ryan into the to the uh, chicane, but no biggie. Just a uh, little bit, little bit of a love attack. Everybody loves him. Yeah, and, and that's kind of what I was mentioning earlier. I mean, I mean, you look how close Ryan was to the end of Blind Machine's gearbox. He was like two tenths, very close into the braking zone. And uh, Ryan out of the second list mode has had a bit had a bit of a heart attack there. I can bet you, a bit of a cold brown moment. Let's see, a bit of a moment himself, but looks like he's has no problem catching back up to Blind. Already back within half a second here. Bit of, bit of a train here for me. Yeah, thigh bolt. Net P1 leader up to P2 on broom handle. DRS is now enabled. Welcome to season 13. You are uh, enabled. Here's Mina trying to make a move back on Blind Machine after being overtaken. He's going to try to get right between the McLaren's. He gets the move done as Blind Machine backs out of it. Mina now on the hunt to get that place back that Sir Charles uh, stole from him. So there's quite a bit of a quite a bit of a train here, so you gotta pick your moment right because of a bit of a wrong wrong choice and you, you lose just a little bit of that DRS is going to going to basically hurt your race. <clears throat> back up to the front, Tybo is Rather the gearbox of Rafael, who does have DRS wide open here. This is coming into Ascari, and he makes a bit of a easy move there. But now Rafael does get that. Um, we'll get the DRS down the main straight. Yeah, Rafa might use Thibault a little bit here to. To help drag him along in this race with some some battery, some slipstream. At least on some of the straights. There's only a few corners and then you have another straight, you know, corner straight, corner straight. So it's just it's really prone to uh keeping everyone together. It's like an Italian family right in the kitchen. You know, you're cooking, cooking every, every, everyone's welcome. Everyone's family in Italy. Everyone's family, and everyone loves to cook and eat. So everyone comes in together. That's why Italy is shaped like this. Shaped like a pizza. Sure. Uh, yes. Here, when the machine <laughs> coming into the second chicane, he's going to try to make a move down the inside. Can he get the move done? And that's the back. Out. Yeah, and that, and that was a good back out by Blinn. He knew he wasn't. There was going to be contact there, and uh, that was a veteran move to, to to back out of that a little bit. He had to cut a little bit the inside, but uh, nonetheless, they would add contact and uh, would have ruined both races. So he'll just uh, regroup here and maybe get him out of a scar, maybe down to turn one. Yeah, that's why, that's why he's the, the constructor champion. Smart moves, you know, just be aggressive, but don't be over aggressive. And if you're going to be over aggressive, just make sure you're smart about it. Davide Secret, welcome to season 13. You, sir, are also enabled. You'll be racing Thursday. We're going to have some fun. We're back at it, TCR. Palmer, looking on a move on Ryan. Down turn one. Is he going to make it? No, not quite. Sir Charles, Charles. Gets, uh, overtake on Camden. Sorry, yep. Bro. He was able to get Camden there and uh, almost out of that second gap. Taz says uh, Blinn needs to get a move on. Yeah, he's got to get past his Red Bull. He is slowing this guy down. Fifteen lap old tires. Mina did a great job defending. Uh, Blinn, ten laps fresher. Blinn's got to get a move on is correct. Yeah, he just got Mina now. He's got to use battery on this front stretch. Mina's a little lower here in his battery. Gets a poor exit onto the grass. That's going to promote Ryan possibly. Uh, but he also has low battery. Um, under 10%, which is not what you want. Not at the, And Mina too, under 10%. You see the, the red light blinking. That means they're under 10%. Mina gets it all wrong. He has to back out of a nice save. He would have possibly collected both of them if Ryan kept going. 
I must say, now he's going to get DRS on the next race, so maybe maybe he just made it look like he he was going to lose it. Yeah, it should kind of a strategic uh, DRS. Never mind, he's coming into the pits there. I thought he was going to speed. Here we have Glenn Machine. Got a bit of a look in on Camden here. But that's that's the better. Of it. We do have some bit of a bit of a gap starting to kind of form up. Sir Charles is now number second. Good hand of Wilson. Sixty lap old tires, mediums. So Rafa Hulk and Good Hand are they, they I mean they're still on their pitch strategy, to be honest. So not exact not not unheard of that not a not surprised that they're staying out long as there is yellow flag here and I'm pretty sure those medium runners who are out for a long time will be happy about that but don't get don't get your hopes up too high it's just a spin Blinn gets Camden McLaren 4-5 this would be a net P2 and 3 for McLaren Rafa Broom still got a pit um, but going back to your point yeah they can still go another 4-5 laps maybe hope for a safety car late uh, and then throw those soft tires on and they will have the nice advantage but I think Broom is deciding to pit now uh, which also could be a good idea uh, looks like it is a good idea you know everyone is kind of bunched up so Camden back uh, on Blinn let's see it he could be losing some time but he, he won't be having a he won't be having a traffic Pretty nice uh, thing, I must say. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You know, the safety car comes out, you get unlucky. Oh, and that is Rafa. He gets a bit of a bit of a slidey headset out of the out of the, the second chicane. His tires have to be going off there by now. Oh, Ryan Ooh. spun into the gravel. Nice safe. He saves it. Yeah, nice rejoin too. He, he was. He was looking in the mirrors, I saw it. But Nate's gotta be careful, he's got uh, hot tires, maybe some dirt on him. You gotta be careful through Ascari here, just just feed it through for the first time. Now that I'm thinking of it, if you're on the TCR social media, that could be a bit of a nice screenshot there from Ryan Safe. <laughs> could be a thumbnail, we do need a thumbnail yeah. uh, picture. <laughs> we do. So. If Stay tuned, you know. Who knows? You might have had you might have have just got a little sneak peek. Oh, oh and that is a oh. better one. Oh no, and that is a spin. No 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 And into the wall. Take your time, Ryan, oh, okay. take your time. <laughs> we'll wait for you. Ooh. I okay, promise, that's... we'll wait for you. Go ahead. Elmina's oh, coming, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be directing traffic, should I? Uh, yeah, Ryan went for a spin there. That's gonna uh, put him down to 13. Um, yeah, but um, he's gonna hopefully keep going here. You never know. We still have plenty of time in this race. Hopefully, uh, maybe a safety car would come out for him. That would be very helpful. Um, but back towards the front. Let's let's uh, keep tabs on the front here. We got Thibault in his debut race. Two and a half seconds off over Rafa Hulk, who still needs to pit. And we're going to use the leader interval here. Sir Charles, 4.3 seconds off. Blinn Machine, 6.3. So we'll keep that monitored uh, through the rest of the race. See if the McLarens have something for Ferrari in their home opener race. Uh, I must say... Uh Gap from Blue Handle to um, Rafa Hulk, who hits now, was about 20, 23 seconds, I want to say, 22. So this is going to be very close out of the pit at Now remember, I believe Broom Handle was behind Rafa Hulk, so he's going for the undercut here. And Crooner on Camden. He'll get that spot. Alpha Terry to fourth. Fastest lap yeah. for Broom Handle, 22.943. He's getting a move on. And he does have that overspeed as they're going to go side by side into the first chicane. 
never mind. Bruhan thinks better of it. Think he might have had a bit of a flashback from Verstappen and Hamilton. <laughs> and thinks better of it, but he's going to have the slipstream and overtake here into the Curva Grande. And just kind of stays behind there. Yeah, turns four and five here, it's very... It's very hard to overtake there, unless you're really up alongside, but man, if any one of those drivers hit those curbs, it's going to send probably both of you out. Uh, like maybe we yes. saw earlier on in the race, something similar to that. Um, those curbs are gotta, very brutal. Gotta, you got to have a um, bit of a good reaction time there to think to think fast enough and decide to take the Etsy road there. Oh, oh, there's one out. Speaking of, she bar. That has to be. Yes, it is. Safety, Safety car. car, and that Ooh. is going to change the race and here. The leaders, I must say here, the leaders have passed the... Uh, yes. They have passed the, the, the line, so this is going to actually play in Rafa Hawks and Broom Handle's uh, favor. Yeah, and I also want to point out Vince in the Mercedes... Uh, his teammate is pitting, but he decided not to pit. It was he had an opportunity to maybe throw some softs on, uh, but he decided to, uh, to to keep going. He's gonna pass the safety car there. Yep, yep, you're allowed to do that. Um, but this plays into the hands of the McLarens. They're gonna be right up onto the back of the Ferrari, and um, yeah. I don't know. This is, I think, thibault has been very quick. He's been impressive. Uh, but now, you're giving Charles Amblin an opportunity here. And uh, in the first race, with the momentum from last season, I don't know. I, I think this could be a turning point in the race. I must must say, I know it's we're not even done with the first race of the season yet, but McLaren's right now, they're P1 in the Constructors, so... <laughs> it's looking very well for them. <laughs> yeah, but here it is. I think it's Blind Machine there. He's he is backing up a little bit there to try and not double stack as they they will double stack oh, here. Wow. And I must say, um, with a recent patch here from Codemasters, they have fixed the double stack here where before it would take an eternity for for a double stop, you know. You, the first car comes in, and then you behind, you kind of are... You're not even going in because the guys in the pit crew just not moving fast enough. They just kind of stay there, and you're screwed. And you come into the pit box, and then they just stay there having a little bit of daydream. But luckily now, uh, Code Masters have fixed that. I'm very happy with that. It can now actually, it can actually double stack here. Now, I, I'm going to be honest, I think um, that kind of surprised me that the top five or six pitted. Uh, I really thought they might have stayed out, uh, although Thibault was still able to retain the lead. Charles did lose one to Vince, but he's on 10 lap old mediums. He did have an opportunity to pit uh, the previous lap, but uh, decided to, to stay out. Now, in Vince's case, he was around P7. Now he's second, so if he can at least do seventh or better, you know, it kind of worked out for him in that case. Um, yeah. But to those worrying about Chibar, Chibar, yes, he crashed, but he he went to the infield care center and he uh, he got all checked out. He's all good. He'll be he'll be racing next week, uh, hopefully back in the Alpine. I think he's doing all right. It was a gutted crash, but he's uh, he's healthy. He's in good condition. I must say, Blind Machine loses that one. So, three positions there. The double stack. He, I mean, he could. I mean, he could have uh, just slowed down the pack like Bottas did in uh, Jetta. But, like I said, he could, I but then he'd be uh, risking a penalty. No, not really. You don't really get a penalty for slowing down the pack as long as you don't uh, lose a lot of seconds to the to the people in front of you, you know. No, you yeah, no, you're right. That's that is true, but you know, we got our we got, we got our rules too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 
I mean, it's still a great thing. Honestly, I am very happy about that update that Cloud Masters did. This this wouldn't this double stack wouldn't be wouldn't be possible. If I'm honest with you. This is before the patch blend machine would have been in last place right now. Yeah, and you know what? That double stack that he had to do uh, just one lap ago, blend machine. He had to really do that because he pitted much earlier on in this race to put himself back into traffic. So he never qualified P7. He was, I think, P3 when he started this race, was able to get a position off the first lap to get him P2. And now he sees himself back into P7 just because he pitted. That one uh, pit stop actually had a huge impact on his race. It put him behind his teammate. Then you do the double stack, puts him another four positions down. Um, that yeah, that really did have a, a a big factor there. It didn't really work. Uh, Taz says, "Can you back up the pack in this year?" I don't believe you can. I think you I think you'd get hit with something. <laughs> I think I think we have it in the rules. Although I could be wrong. Oh, I could be right though. Safety guards in this lap. This is for round number one. This is for the opener. I mean, you want to win this one, don't you? I mean, I would want to win on uh, Thursday, hopefully. And uh, Ferrari's going to go now. Vince gets a poor start. Charles, he needs to clear this Mercedes, but Broom has the same idea. Three wide into turn one. No, Broom's going to fall on back. Charles down the inside. He takes it clean over the Mercedes so that's crucial in this race a fl yellow flag in the background I think that might have been Mina he might have went for a spin no it might have been Hop Hop Boy Camden on the inside of Crooner he gets some slipstream from his from Broom and he will get the position Ooh, Crooner spun it yeah that, that curve there I, I seen it his car just went airborne Ooh. All right, lap 24. Oh, oh, well, what are we owing about? Oh, Vince, <laughs> Vince, Vince down to a, seventh. Yeah, Mina had a bit of a uh, Mina shaky we exit out of the second uh, Lismo and oh, Mina like, got it all wrong. Mina got it all wrong. I think he uh, was carrying a lot of speed through there. Hit the back of Vince. He might have some front wing damage. Ryan is also very close. A, a good and battles then. through the middle of the pack, but we still have the top to deal with. Fibolt, one and a half seconds. Sets the fastest lap. Can Charles do anything about a 1.6 seconds the gap? And it's just him versus the other guy. Who's going to get it? Yeah, uh, the Mercedes of uh, Vince got a bit of a... Bit of a uh, shake a slide out of the second Lissimo and... And the Luca was just at the wrong, wrong place, wrong time. If I must say, in another leap, and that is Vince spins again into out of, uh, turn two. So Vince was up into P3, and now he's down to P11. Uh, coming back up to the front, Rafa Hope is closing up on Blind Machine here. Blind Machine has the second gap to Bro Hand of Woods in front. And Sir Charles is now two second gap to Tabo. So Tabo really here for putting some good laps in. Two point two, two point three seconds the gap. Charles slipping away a little bit. Might need a mistake from the Ferrari if anything's gonna change. He had a real good chance with that safety car, but I just think Thibault has something that Charles doesn't at the moment. Oh, I heard another car. Yeah, that's Hot Boy. <laughs> he was right next to him. I heard another car on the inside. And that's the Mercedes. He gets the position. Oh, he clips Ooh. the back. It could have spun him around, but good to hold on to it. 
That's going to give Mina the opportunity here. The traction, the speed out of the corner. This will let Ryan a little bit away. Maybe break away from this uh, this battle here. The machine has managed. Seems like there was a bit of a mistake there from uh, Blue here. See, he was about just about second uh, in front of Blue Machine, and now he's half a second. So this is going to really help Blue Machine here. Claren, two three, definitely is in the. Definitely there. Yeah, Blin gets a good exit off of Ascari. And he's only a tenth behind Broom. Now, Broom, you see the light now. Now Blin knows he's under 10%. Take it easy through uh, Parabolica, and let's get a good exit off of here. Blin does do that. Broom, very low on the battery. Lap 27, final lap of the race. First round of the championship. And Blin with the DRS, a little bit more battery. Should have this clear. He also brings Rafa Hulk through, and that's for fourth position. So the battle for the podium is on. Will it be a McLaren 2-3? Will the Haas get on the podium? Will it be the Alpha Tari? Yeah, definitely coming back up to the top two. And Crew so just doesn't have any any response to to Tybo. Raf had a nice save through turns four and five. Almost lost the back of the car. Good thing Broom wasn't so close; he would have collected him. Uh, but this is going to give an opportunity to Blind Machine to ho maybe hold on to P3. Uh, but it's been the pole sitter, the debut season, the f debut race uh, with a lot of these drivers. But it's been this particular driver, Thigh Bolt, in the Ferrari this season. Uh, we're going to probably hear a lot more from him, hopefully, later on this season. He might be a new contender in the Silver Class. And I am happy to say that he is going to win here at the Italian Grand Prix to take the first round opener. Ooh, I'm sorry to disappoint you here, but there's going to be a... Ooh, very close. And here. Rafa, Rafa on the line takes it from Blind Machine. Yeah. Seven hundredths of a second. The Haas gets up onto the podium. Yeah, he... Uh, Blind Machine was... Uh, had a lower than 10% ERS there with the blinking lights into... The last straight and Rafael decided to go around the outside there to Parabolica. Rafael kind of kind of stayed behind there. I thought that Blind Machine would have had it, but then it's a drag race to the line. Rafael gets the let's get the podium there. And something must have happened to Camden. He, he's back in P12, so uh, I know he wasn't running there before, uh, so he is getting no points today. Uh, but that's it. That it, very quick race, I think. Uh, Italy, like I always say, you turn it on, you turn it off. <laughs> it's such a quick race. The safety cars made it a little longer, but as far as actual action, it did go uh, by like a breeze. And the Tifosi, Perry, the Tifosi are uh, they're so happy, uh, and it's going to be the team of Got Any Weeb and Fire Up Flow. They're in the uh, Ferrari uh, tomorrow in the Golden Class. We'll see if they can uh, respond and keep the Tifosi happy. It's nice to see the Ferrari up front. He also got the fastest lap, so it was a slam dunk from Thibault, a uh, statement to r the rest of the Silver Class roster. So the results are as followed. Thibault Charles Raffahulk steals it from Blinn Machine. Uh, we'll have to talk to Blinn another day. I think he's doing commentary tomorrow and Thursday, so you won't hear from him tonight. Uh, Palmer, nice in fifth position. Broom in sixth. Ryan in seventh. Hop Boy was able to steal eighth over Amina. They had a nice battle. Crooner in tenth. And that is your top ten Vince, he started P2 at the last safety car. A little bit of issues. Fall all the way back to 11th. Uh, no points for him. No points for Camden. And your DNFs are as followed. And... 
capped down. I don't know if you have any of these uh, drivers yeah. on your friends list, but if, oh, if you yeah, get them yeah. in, there you go. Good, good stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to do some post-race interviews. We'll invite the top three. So if you have any questions, those watching, put them in the comments down below, and we'll ask them to the top three. Uh, before you do jet out, remember to tune in tomorrow for the Golden Class and Thursday for the Platinum Class. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please consider and or follow on Twitch and uh, make sure you give it a like and share it out and, and come back for the first week here in season 13. Like like I mentioned earlier, way earlier, uh, we have a lot of cool events later on in the season: All Star Race, the GP, uh, some feature races, full qualifying, 100% race. Uh, <laughs> A whole bunch of things happening uh, so that'll be later on in the season you don't want to miss it uh, so make sure you are all subscribed we also have an affiliation link with Fanatec uh, if you are thinking about purchasing any products from them we do have an affiliation link uh, that you can use and it would help the league in doing so so we're gonna go to the theater here and we're gonna pick oh that's the wrong one I always don't know oh there it is here we go. What car are we going to start with? We'll start with the Haas. Rafa Hulk, do you got a copy? Yes, sir. How are you? Uh, make sure your audio sharings are on. I think... I think it is. Okay. All right. Well, let uh, those watching, let me know if the audio is not coming through. And we'll get that all sorted. But uh, P3 in the first race, how was it out there with the safety cars? And how happy are you to be uh, getting a podium in only the first race? And just yeah, marginally like, off of Blin Machine. <laughs> oh you really God, stole it, it from insane. him. was insane. was insane. I'm like shaky here. And after all, I didn't, I didn't practice in this track. I didn't race. The last time I raced this track was over four months. I got home a little late and just look up for a setup because I didn't have it here and and the rain I put uh, I I left I off my I did the the setup for uh, nice weather not rain uh, starting 11 so it was a pretty good race the safety car helped me a lot and this last corner with uh, I think we, I don't remember who was, uh, Blaine, Blaine yep. Machine, yep. was insane. The last two laps, I was behind him, we was passing the, the cars, and I think his DR, DRS was just, just gone, and the last corner, uh, I, I think I just got a best, uh, just a little better pace. And I passed like my God, just in the final line, was was incredible. It was a very nice race, and I did good. It was a good day for me. Well, uh, congratulations on the P3, Captain. Do you got any questions for Rav Hulk? Uh, no, just uh, congrats on the podium. Uh, welcome back to to TCR and. Uh, it was a very exciting uh, lap there uh, towards the end. You know, you you, you did have the bit of a uh, little bit of better ERS than Blin did have, and you try to make the move around the outside in parabolica, and then at first it looked like Blin managed to to hold you up, but I guess um, I guess that little that little bit of slipstream and better ERS played into hand there towards the line. It was a great job on the podium. Thank you. Yes, like the last turn, he tracked better, and like just you said, I just have a little more DR DRS and the end, and that was my last pace, and I could get in in front of him. Nice race. Thank you guys, and I hope be here more often. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'll be here hopefully for all the commentaries for Silver. So uh, we could do we we could do this on the regular. All right. I hope so. Thank <laughs> you guys. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. Good night. All right. We'll move on to uh, the McLaren driver, the previous uh, Silver class champion, Sir Charles. Welcome to the podium. 
uh, and welcome uh, to P2. Congratulations on that P2. Is there anything else you could have done to maybe grab the win later on? Uh, it looks like you have another uh, competitor who is uh, here to challenge you. Yeah, I mean, I could have not had a guy on staying out on mediums between us. That would have helped, but, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know what that was all about, but, um, yeah, um, it, it's a shame, you know, because when you get around someone and you already have a second and a half gap. Um, I don't think I was faster than, um, than, uh, I don't know, sure how you say his name, Bebo or whatever. Sorry if I'm, sorry if I'm butchering your name, I apologize. Um. But, you know, I don't think I was faster than him, but we'll never really know. Um, I never really got a shot at him, and who knows what a couple good laps and a little bit of uh, helpful DRS could do. So, yeah, um, wasn't much else I could do at the end. Um, obviously, I'll take P2. It's a good way to start the year, so can't complain too much. And uh, overall, it was a pretty, pretty solid day. Nothing really uh, crazy happened, so... Yeah, I'll take it. Awesome. Well, congratulations on P2. Uh, Captain, you have any uh, questions for Tr Sir Charles? Uh, I'm just uh, amazing, amazing race there. Uh, nice nice little comeback, qualified P6, and came back into P2. I told, I did tell Seafreeze during qualifying that reason why you're the, you're the last uh, and defending world champion is because you make you make your championship in the race and not in the qualifying. But anyways, amazing race there. Um, like you said, didn't look like you had a you didn't have a chance at uh, uh, Tabal or <laughs> sorry, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but um, but yeah, I, I just... mean, like you said, you kind of had to get past. Uh, I think it was one car or so, so yeah. you did manage to get. Uh, way within a second. But. It stinks because uh, on two occasions, um, the last restart and one when Minu Manu Hanu Manu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were both in front of me. I got I got a really good start, but I almost got too good of a start because I had to like lift so I wouldn't pass them before the finish to start line. <laughs> so that was annoying. But I will Just say this: in, in, in Blinn's defense. We've been oh. in, in search of that double podium for a very long time. I'm looking at a rather interesting picture of the finish line between him and Rafa Hulk, and it sure looks like blends ahead. So, oh, so I, we have a saying, we, we might have a protest. We might I'm have a protest. Told Blend to do the same thing, so we'll see what we got to come up with. But oh, so McLaren's going to go to the uh, the. The stewards after this one, maybe we'll get a blend machine that P3. They're switching, switching rows here with the Red Bulls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have um? Do we got Diebolt in here? We got the Ferrari in here. Uh, don't don't think so. No. Uh, all right. Uh, it looks like uh, he's having some technical issues. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get him in. Um, we'll see if we can have a word with our champion, and not champion, no winner. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it or you know preface whoa, whoa. Uh, the season. <laughs> what are you saying there? Oh, oh, oh! TCR rigs their races. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's all scripted. It's it's a clown show. It's all rigged. It's manifested, man. F1. That's why the first F1 test is behind closed doors. They're rehearsing their crashes ahead of the season. <laughs> In case you were wondering. All right, Lewis. When we go into turn one, you're just gonna go straight, <laughs> Baku. <laughs> oh man. Um. It's not looking like we're getting any success here with uh, our race winner, uh, but uh, I'm sure we will uh, hear from him at some point this season. But nonetheless, I just want to uh, say that it was a very um, um, what's the word? What's the word you say? Like I said, we're rusty. Uh, we'll get it by the end of the finale. Uh, the commentators here <laughs> in silver 
we'll we'll get back on it. It's been a month or two. Uh, it was very impressive. There we go. It's it's pronounced Tebow, so like Tim Tebow. Yeah, no, I don't know how you get that from that, but uh, I'm gonna have a tough time with that. <laughs> I'm going to have a tough time with that. It might take me a raise or two, but like I said, I'll get it by the finale nine. Nonetheless, um, I think that's going to do it here. Um, a decent race to start it off. I just want to say thank you all again for watching and uh, tuning in. It really means a lot that we had a nice support for round number one. And uh, we should have a nice crowd for gold and platinum later on. At tomorrow and Thursday, it's right around that F1 season, car launches, preseason, F1 uh, relaunch. So um, we had a nice off season. We're back in season 13. A bunch of new stuff. Uh, officials, I just want to thank uh, for working so hard uh, through the off season, uh, getting uh, everything ready for this particular moment. And we have two more uh, debut races uh, this week that we have to uh, to do. So final thoughts, Captain on tonight's race uh very good race you know uh, a lot of action you know a couple incidents and then we have uh tebow i'll go with uh i'll go with sir charles words there on how to say his name um but you know he came in new new driver here into this into the into the uh into the league and wins his first race here, you know, kind of reminds me back in, into my first race here, you know, first race on a podium, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, very nice race, very excited for the rest of the season and see how it turns out. Awesome. Well, so we'll uh, leave it there, and uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for TCR here for round number one of the Silver Class. Thank you all for tuning in once again, and we'll see you back here tomorrow and Thursday for the remainder of the week. Uh, for more details, check on down below. Thank you, Captain, for being my co-captain today, and uh, C Freeze as well, main hosting it uh, in the commentary booth. Uh, with that being said, everyone have a good night, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.